which particular case, Maria, do you think would be a real linchpin in uh, this legal fight uh, against the government itself as far as uh, Rappler is concerned and as far as press freedom, which has been your advocacy from the start, is concerned? Well, this one was critical, Lucci, because it combined business at a time when the president is in Davos, Switzerland, trying to actually bring foreign direct investment in. But business, rule of law, that's connected to business as well, and finally, press freedom. But really, the mother case, where all of these charges stem from, was at the SEC, a civil case that led to a shutdown order in January 2018, right? And in that one, it was about control, which essentially these mm -hmm. is about Philippine depository receipts. So this, again, will, they're all interconnected, and I'm hoping that you know, parang yung kalbaryo namin, sana naman, katapusan na rin siya. These charges, all of them, were politically motivated. I've always said that. And imagine, you we've worked together, right? You know the way I work. And, and imagine that within two years, I would get 10 arrest warrants. Um, it was shocking to me. I never thought I would ever be arrested. I thought the charges were flimsy and should never have made it to court. But... I respect rule of law, and that's the reason I submitted myself, our company submitted itself to the courts. And I've been disappointed in the past, but we continue, right? We will take it all the way to the court of last appeal, which is where the cyber libel is now. Um, I, I have to believe in rule of law. And I feel like despite all of this, all of these cases were used to try to put a Damocles sword to make us stop doing our jobs. If anything, it pushed us to do our jobs better. And I think just like the Nobel Peace Prize, today's acquittal, and it's very categorical, right? In an 81-page document signed by the three justices at the first division of the Court of Tax Appeals, it is categorical. These cases, these charges had no basis. As I said, in the trial itself, there was no evidence that was presented to even bring us to court. And yet, it took up four years and two months, not only of my time, energy, but Rappler's energy and money. And I think what we've seen is the lifting of fear um, allowed justices and judges, with or without, they made their decisions, right? I think that's the first. The second one is that it seems like this administration is far more focused on uh, cares about the international community. Uh, that's important because economies are just opening up and President Marcos is in Davos, Switzerland, as we speak right now, right? He's also made the rounds of journalists there. Um, so these are all connected. But look, I, no one can really tell unless we are in the rooms with the horse trading that could happen. But I'd like to think that in this particular case, this was always the court, the trial that I had faith in. And I would have been, I'm going to use the word devastated. You know, my team will yeah, tell you that I didn't even think about what I would say if it was a conviction. I was certain that this was going to be an acquittal. But is, is that another preparing. way? But Maria, is that just another way of saying that this is not the real indicator? This is not yet mm. the barometer of the environment or how, uh, or how this government will actually treat the media. Are we still waiting for a shoe to fall? I, I would say this is a ray of light. It's no longer dark, mm. but we're going to have to force the doors and the windows open.